we're here in the engine control room aboard the Marisk, Ohio. We are going to discuss how ships measure distance, but first we need to gather some data. The first number to record is the ship's current total main engine shaft counter, which indicates 418,280,780 revolutions. We can also take note of the ship's total engine hours, just over 95,031 hours, but this isn't needed for this calculation. Finally, we can take a look at the current RPM information computer screen, which shows the ship's engine is currently turning the propeller at around 81 RPM. Next, let's take a look at the ship's propeller shaft spinning while we are down here. We are now up on the navigation bridge and looking at an original GPS unit from when the ship was built. You can see the total GPS log distance is 1,648,275 nautical miles. This is how far the ship has traveled over the Earth's surface during its lifetime. The trip log distances are reset for each passage and show how far the ship has traveled during a set period of time. In this case, we have traveled 2,679 nautical miles during this ocean crossing so far. The navigation bridge also has a computer that shows our current RPM. You can see this screen indicates the same 81 RPM as the engine control room. We also have a waterlog speed indicator which shows our distance and speed through the water. This will usually be different than the GPS log due to seas and currents. If the speed log indicates a higher speed and distance than the GPS, then this would tell us that the ship is sailing against currents and thus less efficient. A lower water speed log and distance than the GPS would therefore tell us that we have following seas or currents and therefore are being more efficient. Finally, we need to know the pitch of the propeller on this ship. Pitch refers to the distance the ship should move for every revolution with 100% efficiency. No ship will have 100% efficiency though, because water produces drag against the ship and propeller, so the, the propeller never actually reaches its full pitch. The pitch is conveniently recorded here and is 8.6177 meters. Alright, time to crunch the numbers. Let's look at some formulas. The distance run by the propeller in nautical miles is equal to the pitch in meters times the total engine revolution divided by 1,852. Our pitch, 8.6177 meters, times our total engine revolution of 418,280,780 nautical miles divided by 1,852 is equal to 1 million 946,338 nautical miles. This is how far the ship should have traveled over its lifetime so far with perfect efficiency. However, as we saw in the GPS log, the ship has actually traveled 1,648,275 nautical miles, which is 298,063 miles less. To measure the efficiency, we look at this formula. The efficiency is equal to the observed speed or distance divided by the engine speed or distance. 1,648,275 divided by 1,946,338 equals an efficiency of 85%. Finally, let's look at slip. Slip measures the lost distance of the pitch from the drag of the water. We measure slip with this formula. Slip is equal to 100% minus the efficiency. Therefore, since the efficiency was 85%, we know that our slip is 15% over the lifetime of the ship. 
We can also use these same formulas to know our slip over any, any period of time. Typically, this is reported for every 24 hours underway. The Marisco Ohio was built in 2006. This video was recorded at the beginning of 2020. It's pretty amazing to see that it has traveled 1,648,275 nautical miles in 14 years. That's the equivalent to sailing all the way around the world more than 76 times, or traveling to the moon almost eight times.